What's up, fam? I'm trying to post some stuff up for y'all real quick. Good morning. Good morning, Brother Kwame. Let me post something up real quick. I'll be right back. Bring them out, bring them out. 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 Alright. I done did it, I done did it, I done did it. I said, man, forget it. I'm going to go and create a Facebook page for the um, G&J Challenge for the 21 Day in Guza Saba Challenges at fb.me forward slash G&J Challenge. Um, I might have to go and change the name because people are going to get confused. Because it is a Jami Journey Challenge. And um, it's very useful, man. I'm, I'm, I'm logging in. I'm logging in my notes. Keeping track of my stuff right now. Um, today is the day. Today is the day. Today is the day. Brother, Casey will be here today. Um, we're going to be training um, the staff, and he will be here tonight as well as tomorrow for the community. Um, remember, tomorrow's session is $99. You know what I'm saying? Let's get those pennies together and come on out. Brother Kwame, you come on out, and your brother going to find you. You don't have to find me. Come on out, and I'll find you, and we're going to make some arrangements, all right? Um, but... Oh man! So yesterday, I did a, uh, I did my show. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this out because I gotta finish. Uh, I did my show yesterday on. Um, was it yesterday? When I did skin in the game. I don't remember what I did yesterday. We was talking about skin in the game, man, and the importance of people having skin in the game. And I couldn't help but to think about. Um, some of the organizations that I was involved with on campus where the whole motif was because you black you belong you know what I'm saying and and in the 21st century we gotta kill that shit you know what I'm saying um we got to have qualifiers what qualifies you to belong you know what I'm saying? What qualifies you to be within our borders? Um, um, just, just this open door policy. Um, I think it's very detrimental to us as a group. Um, I think it has always been detrimental. I understand why it was created, um, but I, I, I realize that I have to. We have to mature to a point. Well, now we got to ask some questions. we got some very clear questions when it comes down to uh, people being around us, right? Because it's like we become our, our circle. We, 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 we vibrate like our circle. You know what I'm saying? Our circle has a great influence upon us. And sometimes you got to wonder... If we are in the state that we are in, what is the majority of the circles that we are hanging with? What are they like? You know what I'm saying? What do they consist of? All right, so now, another thing, another announcement I have, because I was uh, enduring in Goose Travel Challenge, one of the things that I tried to introduce people to was to the African uh, the African Heritage Diet. Um, 
I reached out to the people um, of old ways at that's the name of the organization um, uh, to to find out if there was anybody training in Columbus for um, the African Heritage Diet or anywhere near and they was like no but you can train I'm like what so um, they got me going through a process right now so eventually I'm going to be able to act, to offer me and a few other people because I'm trying to reach out to some people who are interested in um, in, in this type of stuff as far as the diet the dietary thing looking into becoming trainers for the African Heritage Diet you know what I'm saying? Um, it's not that hard, and um, it's something that we're gonna work on. But I wanted to share some information that I got as part of the the, the training process. Um, and this is interesting. So I'm looking at some information, and some of the key questions that I have to go through is like, how did um, how did African ancestors eat in the past? What were common traditional eating patterns? of the African diaspora? What was the health profile of African diaspora ancestors? What foods and traditions traveled to the U.S. from different parts of the Afri African diaspora? What is the nutrition situation across the African diaspora today? What are the rates of non-communicable diseases, are also known as NCDs, in African heritage group that have maintained a traditional diet? How does the modern American diet differ from the traditional eating patterns of African heritage? How do African Americans eat today? Could these patterns be contributing to chronic diseases among African Americans today? And the answer with the information provided on the following pages in the African Heritage Diet webinar. So, I got to go through the webinar, but let's look at some of this data, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's look at some of this data. Kind of hurt me, man. But look. So, what they got is um, this chart that they gave me. It says mortality incidence of NCDs or non-communicable non -communicable diseases. Those are diseases that can't be, uh, that you don't, you can't sneeze and get people. You know what I'm saying? They're not spread like uh, a cold or flu it, it's diseases uh, like diabetes it's diseases like um, um, autoimmune diseases it's, it's the diseases that we've been talking about um, combating on the journey you know what I'm saying those uh, like those diseases of the gut that, that we say that we're going to eliminate within our tribe mortality incidence of NCDs in Africa and the US from 2010 so this is the chart that I'm reading from. Let's check it out real quick. So you got conditions, NCDs total. So for Africa, like they went, because like, we know Africa is a continent with many different countries. So they went through several different countries. So for African males, NCDs total is like 24%. For United States, Black males or African uh, males in Africa, um, African males in America. You know those of us that those descendants of of captives. You know what I'm saying those hostages that were snatched and brought over here, right? Us, most of y'all that tune in to me, right? U.S. males, NCD totals 84.3 percent. African females, 25.8 percent. U.S. females, 89.4%. Now, they got this thing called CVD. I don't know what CVD stands for, so I'm going to have to go and look that one up. Um, so I won't do that one. But they got cancer for African males um, that are stuck with that basic African diet. Uh, cancer is 4.3%. U.S. males or U.S. Uh, males of African descent, 24.6%. African females, 4.2%. U.S. females, 22.1%. Oh, okay. Um, Brother Kwame say cardiovascular disease, CBD, cardiovascular disease. 
African males, CVD, African males, 9.2%. African males born in the U.S., 35.1%. African females, 11.7%. Um, U.S. females, 38.3%. Um, cancer, once again, for African, African males, 4.3%. African males born in the United States, 24.6%. African females born in um, uh, African females in Africa, 4.2 percent. U.S. African born um, f uh, American born females, right, 22.1 percent. Diabetes in African males, African males born in Africa, 1.2 percent. U.S. males, 3 percent. African females, 1.9 percent. U.S. females, 3.1%. Overweight and obesity, BMI, um, greater than or less than 25. Uh, Brother Kwame said, always a bit more than 300% increase from Africa to here in the States. That's right. This is why I keep on saying we have to start doing culturally appropriate things. Part of the issue is that we're not, we're not engaging in a culturally appropriate diet. You know what I'm saying? But hey, you know what I'm saying? So here's overweight or obesity. In Zambia, 8.3%. Mali, 17.1%. Ghana, 35.6%. Now, Ghana is moving, moving rapidly to being like America. You know, because America is the, the place that you want to be. But check this out. U.S. African-born males, African-Americans as they call us, 80.5%. Females born in Africa, in Zambia, 20%. This is uh, obesity. In Mali, 38.4%. In Ghana, 32.5%. African females born in America, right? Us, or, you know, the lady, our better has, 76.7%. Other NCDs, or non-communicable diseases, all throughout Africa, 6.1%. In the U.S., 14.5%. That's us. African females, 5.6%. In U.S. born females, African, of African descent, 18.8%. So, we can see, I mean, because like I said, man, I'm looking forward to doing this training and um, being able to offer this information because what's going to happen is we're going to be able to, because this is basically a plant-based it's a plant-based diet, right? Of course, in Africa, we eat chicken, we eat fish, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm not going to be able to cook that because I don't eat that. But anybody else that want to go through the training, I'll give you the information so that you go and throw your own, your own piece on there. But um, this is something I'm looking forward to bringing. Um, once again, for those that's interested, because I, I, I put up the Ngoose Saba Challenge, now it's on Facebook. It's at facebook.me forward slash GNJ Challenge. So you go straight there. You can click the button. It'll take you straight to the Ngoose Saba Challenge so that you can find out what's going on. You can read about it. See if it's something that you'll be interested in. It's free unless you want to unless you want to give something. You know what I'm saying? That's all up to you. But the whole piece is free. The information you receive is free. Like I said, unless you want to give something, right? So now, we're about to do our toast. It's time for us to salute our ancestors. Shouts out to Brother Tyrone Thomas. Um, I, actually, there's three people on, on the line, so let me see who all are here. Um, shouts out to Brother Brian. Um, shouts out to Brother Tyrone. And, of course, shouts out to Brother Kwame. Uh, thank you all for tuning in. Let's do these libations. I like to do 32 ounces, so let's work on this. I'm trying to knock it down. Drink that water with me. Part of the rules is when you join me, come with a glass. Some glass, some water, and a healthy drink. And if you don't got a healthy drink, water is water counts as a, as the healthiest of all drinks. Alright? Um what I'm taking with my water is I'm taking rhodiola. I'm gonna do a report on on on, on, on rhodiola. Um let y'all know the effects that I'm having. Um, I got a book on it right now, so I'm going through the book so I can give you a little bit more detail about it because they call this the golden root. I haven't really felt any of the effects, but 
um, it get great reviews and um, somebody told me about it years ago and I took it but then I stopped because I didn't feel anything you know what I'm saying I guess I never really been out of shape really uh, that bad you know what I'm saying but um, I don't feel that stuff so now I try to drink 32 ounces y'all gonna drink your water let's drink That was eight or close to eight. Moving on to sixteen right now. <clears throat> Come on, drink that water, fam. A lot of ash I share to flow through you. I want to say great near to all of y'all. I'm really looking forward to the day because Brother Wakasa is going to do a, a dynamic, dynamic workshop. Friday, oh, damn. Tonight's, tonight's piece for the community is free. Come on out, support, come see what he's talking about because I'm telling y'all, you might find it worth your time. Um brother does a dynamic presentation um, I didn't get a chance to interview him I was going to do my radio show last night but I was exhausted man I just I fell asleep I fell asleep I'm, I'm sorry you know I'm up right I'm up right now and I, I keep moving all throughout the day alright so I'm taking my whole roll yard up So today on my YouTube, the discussion after the toast, right? We're gonna talk about how I'm just it's this title is not your fault, but it's not your fault, but that's the that's the title. I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's not your fault, but. So right now I got a experimental bottle. I don't know what this is. I bottled it up. I mixed some stuff up. I had some leftover root. I had some leftover ginseng. I had some leftover original. I don't know what this is at this point in time. I'll do a better job of labeling my experiments. But hey, I know it was mature when I bottled it. So let's see how, how it reacts. Make sure y'all can see. For those that don't know, this is called that ambrosia. This is basically a kombucha that I make. Oh, it's active. Man, y'all falling. This one is. Yeah, I smell them roots. This one is that root mix. Make your own waterfall in your house. Right? So let's go. I smell some cinnamon. This one don't got sarsaparilla in it though. First, giving giving honor to the creator. My fault. Um, great near. The day is near. Purpose for those that don't um, know what near is. It's also the modic principle. The modic principle for the day for us is balance. Um, the the hermetic law to look out for today is rhythm. 
for males born on this day. The day is Kofi. The day name is Kofi. The female name is Afua. Um, for Wolof, one, two, three, four, five. And Wolof, we will add Mandu, which means being appreciative of what you have and not envious of others. Um, the con ethics will be justice. Um, uh, traditional Yoruba attributes of good character will be Titu or endurance. So let's get it. First, give an honor to the Creator by whatever name you choose. Call it Creator. We lift up our glass. We toast that um, the ultimate ancestor, the being from which all of us come from. We lift up our glass. We toast and we say Ashe. From there, we move to our personal ancestors. We lift up our glass. We toast those personal ancestors. We remember them. We 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 lift them up. Um, uh, we recite their names. You know what I'm saying? Um, we send them energy. Um, we show them our gratitude. So we lift up those glasses and we say, "Ashe." Um, uh, call on mine. You call on yours. Calling on Miles Brown, Miss Ann, Robert and Texana Davis. I'm a Brown Senior. Rosalie Tilly, Georgia William Walton, Chris and Fanny Gatson, Aunt Lena, Aunt, um, Aunt Lena, Uncle Chris, um, Geneva Brown, Cleveland Brown, Cleveland Brown, um, Margaret Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Wash Ellis, Wash Ellis Jr., Herman Brown II, um, my Aunt Alvira Brown, um, my aunt Katie Ellis, um, my um, my aunt Gina Gaines, my aunt Barbara Twiggs. I call on John Fillard. I call on um, Jeremiah Tappan. I call on Montague Pittman L. I call on Jamon Jones. I call on Tony Clark. I call on Dr. Marianne Williams. I call on uh, Kojo Kamal. I call on Terrell Dunbar, Elder Farmer, Elder Hairston, Elder Farmer, Elder Hairston, Elder, oh man, I can't remember, Elder Donaldson. Elder Millie Dixon. Tony Clark. We lift up our glass. We say our shay. Um, shouts out to Miss Lois Schultz. Thank you for stopping in for a second. All right. We toast. We say our shay. From there, we move to the present moment. Of course, we just talked about it. The day is near. We toast this moment because in this moment is our power and we say our shay. From there we move to our children, our children's children, on to infinity, because we're responsible. We lift up that glass and we say, I say, last but not least, family, I toast you. I toast any of the issues that you might be dealing with. You know what I'm saying? Anything that you need us to toast for as a group, we toast. And we say, I say, I say, I say, I wish you peace, power, and 100 years. This one, it's very, once again, once they get old, you get the little must taste, and then it's very dry. Um, yeah, one love, see you tonight. It's very dry, and it kind of coats the tongue. Um, them herbs, them herbs do something a little bit different with this, with this combination. Um, but hey. I want to thank all those people that took the time to stop in um, on YouTube. I'm be talking about it's not your fault. It's not our fault. But, right? So go and check me out on YouTube. Um, make sure you take the challenge. You know what I'm saying? Challenge yourself. Take the 21 days and change your life. 
and then you find out how many other lives you'll change once you start, once you start changing, right? So this is Brother Tim. I'm out. Peace.